Hello all, welcome back to Skyrim. We're going to be doing a short showcase and tutorial of Outfit Studio. Outfit Studio is a program that comes with Body Slide, so when you install Body Slide, you will automatically get Outfit Studio. I have recently made a video on how to install and use Body Slide, so if you're interested in that, you can check the link in the description below. So, Outfit Studio is a really unique tool with Body Slide that allows you to make some custom shapes for armors and bodies for NPCs that have their own unique shape and or armor. It can also be used for reducing or removing clipping with armors if your character's body is too big for the armor, which is mostly what I use it for. And today I'm going to show you how to do that because it can be quite annoying when your character's body is clipping through the armor. Okay, so for this showcase, we're going to be using the Amazing World of Bikini Armor. Uh, to add the body slide. So come over to this file and download the armor and download the optional meshes if you have a custom body and then get the body slide files from here. All right. So once you downloaded those, you want to come over here and you want to uh, open body slide. Now, find the armor that you want to customize. So I'm just going to go to WWE and I said WWE. <laughs> um, WWB and go to hide bikini top or any top you want. Just, oh my goodness, that's probably going to get me in trouble. All right. So you can see right here, um, we have our hide bikini top. Now, I could select just some big, let's go to like, that's going to make it big. All right. So as you can see, there's some clipping here, right here, and things like that. All right. So you can build this body real quick. The first thing I always like to do is to build it just so I can see where the output path is. Because as you can see, if you come over to Amazing World of Bikini Armors, and you go to Meshes, Armor, and then the S word, <laughs> and then Hide, and then we scroll down to the. Uh, the high top that we just built. And as you can see in here, the shape is not there, right? It's not within the the mods folder. So the shape must have went to the overwrite folder. I always like to do this because sometimes the shape goes to the overwrite folder. Sometimes it goes to the mods folder. So I do this to figure out where the output path is because that's what you're going to need. So I go to open an explorer. Remember, it was meshes. It was armor. Then it was the S word and then hide and then we can come over to our hide top that we just made and as you can see there it is the thickness with its clipping and stuff like that so now we know what the output path is right so we're going to copy this output path and now we're going to go back into body slide wait for that to load up there's our body. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open this in Outfit Studio. Now, when you open it in Outfit Studio, oh, my goodness, bro. I tried to find an armor that was, like, more appropriate, and it wouldn't show up in Outfit Studio. So, I had to settle for these extra horny, skimpy freaking things, all right? <laughs> so, when you open Outfit Studio, you're going to see your, your, uh, your armor in here, right? Then go to Slider. Go to load preset and then load the preset that you just, you know, you had with the clipping. All right. Now, <laughs> time to reduce some of this clipping. Hold the right click to rotate around like this and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. All right. So huh, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this tab up here where it says increase mesh volume in an area. All right, you're gonna click that. Then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna make sure that the armor is clicked like that, the curious medium top. And then right here, you have to pick one of these sliders because if you try to, to add, um, increase the mesh without clicking one of them, you get this error, all right? so. I don't know how to avoid that. 
I basically just pick no. And I just pick something in here that doesn't, you know, impact the body too much. So I usually like to go for ankles. So I check the ankles like that. All right. So now, once that's done, we can start increasing the mesh volume in certain areas. So um, right here, like I said, increase mesh volume in an area. You can adjust the brush settings to, in to increase how strong you want things to be and how big you want them to be, like the results. So I'm going to show you right now. So you click on the part that's cl clipping. Hold the left click, and you kind of just, you can rotate it like that. And as you can see, parts of the armor are kind of like reducing the clipping. Now you can increase the strength a bit so that when you do it, it happens more often. As you can see, the clipping is now gone. All right, so we're going to cover these nips too as well. There you go. And sometimes you got to watch with how strong you make the brush because if you do it, it'll increase the meshes too much and then you might start getting like some blocky meshes and you know it'll look a little bit blocky and then if that happens you can use smooth an area of the mesh and then you could just go into that area click down and it'll smooth it out all right so we're gonna go and we're gonna go back to here increase mesh volume in the area we're gonna get the rest of these snips right here cover these up and then this part right here cover that up all right now, as you can see, look, I, I did it too much, you see? So now it, it looks a little weird. So I'm just going to go undo this, and I'm just going to reduce the strength a little bit, and I'll try it again. There you go. And now it looks a bit better. Okay. So once you have everything done, you want to go to file and then you want to go to export now you could pick export to NIF or you could put export to NIF with reference it depends on you know how the armor was if the armor comes with a body attached to it like this which is often the tops like the chest plates bikini tops shirts those usually come with the reference right which is like the body so you can see this body came with this top so it has a reference so when I export this I'm going to export it with reference, okay? Now, remember what I said, we wanted to find our shape data. This way we could know where the file path was. So now that we figured out where the shape data goes and we copied that file path, we could paste it in here like so. Click that and then find the file that we just did, which was the hide top. And then it says, do you want to replace it? Just hit yes. And then close this out. And then um, the high top is now overwritten, like the, the output path. So now you can go ahead and jump in the game and the clipping will be reduced. So let's go, go ahead and jump in the game real quick. So I can't really show you because I don't want to get in trouble. I want this video to get age restricted and my channel get blacklisted. But as you can see, there it is. There's the big body. And then there's the clipping. And uh, everything is, you can see, as it, you know, as it should be. And that, that's pretty much how you reduce the clipping or remove the clipping with outfits and body slides. So I hope this video helps you. If it did, please leave a like on it. If you want to see anything else like this, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you need help with anything, I'll gladly make a video for you if I can. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to support me there, I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to so support me on YouTube Super Chat, that is fine as well. Thank you all for being here. I will see you all next time with some more guides and video showcases.